Well, you know, Patriots going to another Super Bowl. I really thought watching the game, the Jags had a great opportunity to win the game. And let me let me and let me be let me give some credit because Blake Bortles played a lot better than I thought he would play. So I gotta give him marks for that because he made some throws where I was like, okay. He had some pocket awareness where I was like, okay. He played well. He didn't play terrible. I thought the defense um, uh, played well, especially in the first half and, uh, and going into the fourth. Uh, I thought they, uh, I thought the pass rush for the uh, Jaguars waned in the fourth quarter especially, which gave Talent Brady uh, more time than he had in the first half. Which is why you saw a lot of play, a lot of uh, completions, especially the, the uh, touchdown f- to uh, Danny Amendola. He had a lot of time. Um, there was really no pass rush. But kudo, give kudos to the Patriots because they looked like they were outclassed the first half. They came back in the second half, made adjustments, and they did it all without Gronk. And I said it before, and I'll say it again: best tight end in the world. And uh, they knocked him out, and he and Tom Brady was still able to make plays with uh, Hogan and Danny Amendola. Deion Lewis had uh, some good plays, so I, I got to give them full marks. Got to give the Patriots full marks. I will say this though: going into the end of the the first half, where it was a, a, the pass the pass interference um, on AJ Boye, I thought that was a I thought that was a bad call. I thought. Both guys were jockeying for position, and that basically was the beginning of the turn of the tide for the for the Patriots. But I guess in Foxborough, you're gonna get that call every time. I thought it was a I thought it was a soft call. Now the hit on Gronk, I thought that was a a good, a good call. I thought it was a good call, good call. But uh, kudos, Tom Brady down uh, ten points. They found a way to make it. The defense rose to the occasion. Um, they forced Blake Bortles to beat him from the pocket, and I will give credit um, to uh, to Gilmore because that was a hell of a play. Because if 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 he if uh, Blake Bortles was able just to lob it just a little bit more, that might have been six, and we might be talking and we might be talking about the Jaguars being in the Super Bowl against the Eagles. I mean, the Eagles are still playing right now, but it's it's a it's a walkthrough. The Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. Congratulations to all the Philly fans out there. But yeah, gotta get credit. Gotta get credit. Adjustments, and I really thought the Jaguars got really, really conservative as the game went on. And I'm like, you're playing for the Super Bowl. You can't be conservative. You, 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 you gotta lay it all out there, balls out. And I don't think uh, they, the Jaguars, did that in the uh, in the second half. So I thought that was a huge. Um, that played into the, the defense for the Patriots. But all in all, great season for the Jaguars. Uh, hopefully, Blake Bortles can improve next year because he he showed me something in this game. <laughs> hopefully, uh, um, the offense can be more diverse and more dynamic for the Jaguars. And they got a good year. They had a good year. They had a good year. But damn it, <sighs> why couldn't you just get the touchdown so I wouldn't have to give the Patriots credit, huh, Jacksonville? Huh, but like I said, kudos to uh, Tom Brady and Belichick and the rest of the team organization. They they did they did they did work, and they um there's something to be said to go to always be in contention for a Super Bowl. So yeah, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think was a huge turning point in the game against the Jaguars, and who do you and who do you think was a player of the game outside of Tom Brady, obviously. And do you think they'll win against the Eagles? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Letter of Sports Show. Damn it. Why, Tom? Why did it have to be Tom?